Stay calm, stay calm, stay calm. Oh, good. He's not here. Dr. Cox? It's time. Sit down. Now, what do you want me to say? That you're great? That you're raising the bar for interns everywhere? I'm cool with that. I'm not gonna say that. You're okay. You might be better than that someday, but right now, all I see is a guy who's so worried about what everybody else thinks of him that he has no real belief in himself. I mean, did you even wonder why I told you to do your own evaluation? I, I can't think of a safe answer. I just figured... Clam up! I wanted you to think about yourself. And I mean really think. What are you good at? What do you suck at? And then I wanted you to put it down on paper. And not so I could see it, and not so anybody else could see it, but so that you could see it. Because ultimately, you don't have to answer to me, and you don't have to answer to Kelso. You don't even have to answer to your patients, for God's sake. You only have to answer to one guy, newbie, and that's you. There. You are evaluated. Now get the hell out of my sight. You honest to God get me so angry, I'm afraid I just might hurt myself. Dr. <laughs> Cox, did you get my memo reminding all senior staff that lab coats must be worn at all times? You know, I did get it there, Bob, and at first I just threw it away. But then I decided that wasn't a grand enough gesture, so I made a replica of you out of straw, and then I put my lab coat on it with your memo in the pocket, and then I invited all the kids in the neighborhood to come over and light it on fire and whack it with sticks. Kelso's not just some harmless guy pushing my buttons, Carla. He's a pod person. You're wrong. You're so wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. Dr. Cox. And there you are. Excuse me? I was just now wondering if there's anything that could actually push my headache into a full-blown migraine, and there you are. What's the story on the Admit in 64? Oh, she's great. I really like yeah, her. Yeah, let's see if you can't focus on things that I actually give a rat's ass about. <laughs> what? She blacked out at work and present with accelerated heartbeat and hyperventilation. Interesting. After working at a hospital for a while, you develop a sixth sense for danger. Maybe there's a mass cash alert. Maybe there's a code. Maybe someone spent the morning with the most annoying patient in the world and needs to vent. Luckily, I was prepared. Did you do your pre-rounds? Yes. Discharge summaries? Yes. Pharmacy renewals? Yes. Soap notes. Yes. Central line changes. Yes. Okay, Janet, but did you go ahead and fix your beeper so it doesn't play that annoying song every single time you get paged? Yes. Crap. I expect you to act like a professional around here! Is that all you got? Woo! Woo no! <laughs> oh, stop! No, you stop! <laughs> oh, dear God. Ms. Tracy, we're Can gonna go ahead... Can you give me one sec? I'm on the zone. I'm trying to arrange up the food oh. delivered here. Fatty had a party and nobody came. Preaching to the choir. <laughs> okay. Think of what little patience I have as, oh, I don't know, your virginity. You always thought it would be there until that night junior year when you were feeling a little down about yourself and your pal Kevin, who just wanted to be friends, well, he dropped by and he brought a copy of About Last Night and a four-pack of Bartles and James and Badow! <laughs> it was gone forever. Just like my patience is now. Everyone, we can all relax now. The planets have been realigned and order shall be returned to the people. Hey, you. Give me two seconds, I just gotta finish emailing Jill. I have right here your little friend's test results. Shall we have some fun and take a look? 
Hmm, interesting. EKG negative, tilt table negative, echo negative, nyet, nyata, zilch, nothing, in fact, is wrong with her, but a little stress and exhaustion brought on most likely by, ooh, let it come, being her. Yeah, but if you don't no, 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 no. There's no time for, yeah, buts. I want her punted out of here in the next five minutes, or you will personally be responsible for covering every missed shift during this year's flu season. Now go. Now go. Now go. Hey, you. For what it's worth, I don't care if your beeper plays who let the dogs out, hoof, hoof, as many times as you like. Actually, sir, it's who, who. But thank you. That, that's great. Sure. Oh, and Ginger, by the way, just a real smooth move running to your mommy. Excuse me? Yeah, your mommy ca-rushed me. She did. Uh, I'd like to issue a warning to everybody, and I'm dead serious, FYI, JD's mommy has made it perfectly clear that she doesn't want her daughter picked on anymore. Nothing mean, she's a precious flower, and we should all be super nice to her. Nobody stay. Oh, what a good boy you are, dear. God, Judy, how much product do you use? None. It's like this when I wake up. Yeah, quick tip there, sports star. When you're defensive about your feminine side, it just makes you seem more girly. I assume you want something. Easy, nobody likes a cranky punching bag. And yes, it's about a patient. Pretty good friend of mine, actually. Wow, I guess that means he respects me a little. Huh. Hey, Randy, Jackie, what do you say? This is the monkey I got to videotape the bird. I hate him. Newbie, I always punch the tabs out of my tape, so there's no possible way they can be recorded over. So, Pa, please tell me you didn't use the tape that was already in the camera. Banana hammock. So, in other words, there is no permanent historical record of the birth of my friend's baby. Well, you know, I, I think that the baby itself would serve as proof that it was, you know, born. You don't understand what you've done. My ex-wife is probably gonna hold this over my head for so long that I doubt I'll ever see the sun again. And I like the sun, newbie. It made me hopeful. Well, I was there. You know, I, I could certainly jot down some of my feelings and impressions. You know, if he was really mad at me, he would have stayed and yelled at me. Don't kid yourself, newbie. I couldn't be any madder at you. Oh, no. do not do that again. That's a bad newbie. Oh, bad. Oh, bad. bad. No. Did you go see baby Charlie yet? Oh, yeah, I was actually just planning on doing that. Never. You're such a special friend. Oh, gosh, Marjorie, aren't you sassy today? Did Santa finally bring you that Y chromosome you always wanted? What's your problem, anyway? Well, for starters, I hate Christmas. I don't like Bamba Scoodles. I loathe Dinko Wallows. I hate Stank Tom Coppers. My say, do you follow? Do you think I'm a moron? Newbie, don't answer that question. It's a trick. That's a trick. Oh, prenatal lice? You do realize that would be lice in the womb. Oh, I've seen them. They're real and they're gross. Maybe Dr. Cox has pushed me too far. I, I don't know. Whatever it was, I told on him. Plus, he didn't even go see baby Charlie yet. And then something amazing happened. They connected, and all the hatred they had for each other was suddenly focused on me. Excuse me, Sally Sensitive. I don't remember asking you anything. Your mom's aware that she'll eventually have to stop the breastfeeding, right? Who? Good, Jordan, good. Now work the body, work the body. Under the ribs, under the ribs. I'm not gonna see that baby either. Are you gonna tattle on me? Are ya? Are ya? <laughs> I'm frightened. JD, do you have a second? Oh, God, yes. That's right, run away, Sally. Something's going down. All right, bring it in here, you knuckleheads. Come on, take a knee if you need to, you confoundants. I have been on since midnight, so I stand here with my usual level of contempt for all of you, but with the added wrinkle of having 13 cups of Nurse Robert's piss-poor excuse for coffee passing pretty much straight through me. The not-so-hidden message being, of course, that if you screw up today, ha, I'm gonna hit you hard, ha, I'm gonna hit you fast. Now then. I think some of you may have noticed that all 27 of the patients that were here in the ICU when I started last night 
are still alive. And I damn sure intend for them to still be breathing when I get the hell out of here tonight at midnight. I think you understand what kind of opportunity we have in front of us. What opportunity? Oh, shut up. You can see in baseball when a pitcher's really hot, no one talks to him, no one looks at him, you just stay out of his way. Why are you talking about baseball? Because you should never, ever jinx a pitcher when he has a chance to throw a perfect game. My God, Barbie, how do you put your bra and panties on in the morning all by yourself? It's remarkable. It's because he's the pitcher. Yeah, I get it now. What exactly do you think you were going to do? Cash it in? In your face. You're fine, thank you, Barbie. Whatever you need, Dr. Cox, I'm your girl. <laughs> Peachy, now get out of the pharmacy and get me 30 grams of KX Elate. And don't dilly-dally around trying to refill your prescription of Prozac. You're on my time now. Go, go, go. Nervous guy. Yes, sir. Get out of bed 18 and get me his top you screen. You better cross your fingers that the news is good, because if it's not, I'm blaming you and newbie. I want you to start a drain on the perulent pericarditis in bed 23. Now, that's a tricky bastard. He's tried to die five times on me already today. Keep an eye on him. I'm your wingman, Maverick. I was watching uh, Top Gun. Did you know that Goose is actually the guy from ER? No, I didn't, but, but please, keep talking. No, no, no. Is this the talk screen? Oh, Dougie, this does not bode well for you. I know. I'll tell you what, second chance, you go get the results of Mr. Chervin's urinalysis, but if the numbers aren't good, I'm gonna take one of your kidneys and give it to him. 10 bucks says I can make that kid wet himself before the day is over. Oh, everybody's afraid of Mr. Man. Laverne, you give good sass. Dr. Cox, got the KX light, and I pulled all the x-rays you asked for, so I am yours for the night. Do whatever you want with me. Oh, my God, um, that totally came out wrong. I just, I meant that I want you to use me, and I don't care how degrading it is. What? No, no, <laughs> no, it's just that I know that you like torturing people, and I am totally up for that. I just want to make you happy. Marshmallow hush. This guy needs a lumbar puncture and I need an extra set of hands. Get over here. Ready and raring. Not you. Ginger, get the lead out. Come on. Excuse me? It puts the lotion on the skin. Oh, so you can do movies and I can't. It puts the damn iodine lotion on the skin. Give me a break. Mr. May. Look, Dr. Cox, you can trust me to help you. For gosh sakes, I was top five in my class. That's the noise I make when somebody lies to me. Okay, I was eighth, but I can do this. I'll get us this perfect game. Don't say perfect it. Game. Don't, don't say it. What part of don't say it did you not understand? Was it the don't or was it the say it? Help me to help you, Barbie. Help me to help you. Help me to help you. Help me to help you. I, um, should get to work. That would be lovely. Mm -hmm. Wow. Barbie? Plates are wobbling everywhere. His H&H &H dropped three grams, so I'm starting pressers. Or you could transfuse him. Okay, I'll do that. Although transfusions are riskier. Which is why my first instinct was to do pressers. You know what they say about your first instinct? Yeah, you should always stick with them. Shouldn't you? Should you? Should I? Should I? You'll have plenty of time to think about it on the bench, because that's where you're headed. Now go. Give me this, Precious. Get out of here. Go ahead. Go, go. <sighs> Hippity-hop to the barbershop. Should I? Hmm. Here's the deal. I have been coerced by the forces of evil into conducting rounds this morning. Why do you have to do rounds? Because I'm sleepy. How's that? So in order to make this a more palatable experience for moi, I am not going to call you by your names. Instead, I'll be referring to you by whatever distinguishing physical characteristic occurs to me first. Okay, you, chicken beak. What causes pneumonia presenting with diarrhea? Legionella. Nice job. It turns out your mind's just as sharp as your nose. Woo! And you, die job. What are the elements of Whipple's triad? Uh... It's hard to describe how scary it is when you don't know an answer at rounds. <clears throat> I can't remember. I am so sorry. Sorry? What in the hell are you sorry about? Well, it's just Dr. Kelso always yells at us when we don't know the answer. Oh, and children. You can't let that bloated bag of hate affect you like that. And besides, being a doctor is as much about finding the answers as it is about knowing them. For instance, take Clarabelle's patient here, Mr. Yeager. Now, we have no idea what in the hell's wrong with him, so we have run tests for everything from meningitis to intracranial mass. And according to these results, oh, everything seems to have come back negative, which doesn't necessarily mean that Clarabelle here is a failure. It doesn't. It just means that she's got to keep trying, no matter how frustrated she just might get. Now, of course, 
If you are lazy and incompetent, then yes, that will buy you a one-way ticket out of here. Doug. 